maybe if they get enough complaints, maybe. But um, yeah, I mean, I see people go through the light all the time. It's dangerous, really. That's, I'm worried about children yeah, and animals and humans, that, you know, adults. Uh -huh. Okay, that's not a, that's not a Woodland Oaks problem. That's a that's a general problem that's happening in every city, town, and everywhere. I mean, I, I I talk to people all over the country, and I hear people are blowing through red lights left and right, and the racing and the and the and the motorcycles and the the noise. It's just gotten worse. You know, mm -hmm. so I, I think, you know, we we tried to get the city to paint. We tried to get the city to uh, uh, paint a red zone out here in front of our building so nobody would park there and they'd they'd sweep it every week. And we couldn't get anywhere with it. They didn't they hmm. didn't they didn't want to hear about it. It was like mm -hmm. it, it, it's like an act of Congress to get a, 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 a toe zone you know, put out here. So I don't know what we're going to do about the, the speeders and the, the crazy people, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it will we, take, uh, unfortunately, a fatal injury before they will do anything. Oh, okay. All I've right. Seen them Sandy, that's, we got to go on to the next meeting. So I appreciate your comments. And uh, if there's, is there anybody else? Yeah. So we have. Yes, we have, please. Uh, I'm waiting. Okay. I'm sorry, who was that? My name is Nassim. Okay, I was going to say Nassim and then Leah. We'll go to you after Nassim. Okay. Oh, okay, guys. Hi, everyone. First of all, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, I'm owner of Uni 20, and my sister has number 22 and together um, for the last uh, four or five years. The problem is uh, it's very, like, it's such a thing. The number 18. I'm renting my place for the last couple of years, and both of the tenants leave the place before end of the contract because of the neighbor number 18. And I was trying to reach you, Sana, and other people uh, in HOA to see what should I do. Their main complaint is this guy smoked inside the house, his home, and the smoke comes to the vent, the master bedroom of our unit. And the other problem is this guy, if you're familiar with him, you probably know who he is. Uh, he puts like a um, business card inside the windshield of the cars, even though they don't like it, he keeps doing it, push it, and, and uh, basically breaks the windshield because of the pressure. And both of the tenants I have, the first one I thought, okay, maybe he's so quickly. But when it happened the second time, after like six months, the maintenance said, I'm leaving before the contract, I was okay. That's not fair for it. If something is going on. I used to live there myself. My sister used to live there herself back then in 2021. But I know the guy. He's kind of the, not normal to me, but he wasn't bothering us at that time. Now, you know, Nassim, what can I do about it? Can, can I su suggest that we take that conversation offline just because we're in front of everyone and I can make an appointment to call you in the morning and you know what, let me... Oh, uh, I thought you... maybe other people had this problem because Hold on, my that's that everybody is complaining yeah. about it. Can I just, can you, are you able to see the chat? Are you on a computer? Yeah, I'm on the phone. Okay, okay hi. Let it. me just, let me send you a quick chat with my contact info if you can just wait and take a look for it. And we'll go on to the next person and you can respond to me and we'll we'll connect tomorrow. So if that is okay. I don't